Small scale farming has gained a ton of popularity over the past several years, and maybe you're questioning if you wanna start your own farm. I'm gonna give you seven reasons why you may not actually want to do that. Let's jump into it. First reason you should not start a small scale farm is if you aren't passionate about agriculture. If you're not passionate about growing food, raising animals, then this just isn't for you. You're gonna need that passion and vision to keep you going in the hard times. So if you're just in this for the money, then starting a small scale farm is probably not for you. The second reason you should not start a small scale farm is if you don't like physical labor, if you don't like working outside, if you don't like getting sweaty and dirty. Small scale farming is physically intensive. You're gonna sweat, you're gonna get dirty, you're gonna have early mornings, late nights, and you've gotta be willing to put in the work. And if that's not something you're willing to do, then this is not for you. Reason number three you should not start a small scale farm is if you have no experience growing things or raising animals. If you've never done this before, maybe you live in the city and you've seen some videos and it gets you really excited, kind of gives you this fairy tale view of farming, of small scale agriculture. You just need to be really careful because I think the picture painted of the lifestyle of small scale ag is kind of a little bit of a fairy tale. Um, yes, it's a fantastic lifestyle, but if you have no experience growing a tomato plant or you've never grown a garden or anything of that nature, maybe you should do that first. Um, go work or volunteer on a small scale farm just to kind of see, is this something um, that would be a good fit for you? Reason number four, you should not start a small scale farm is if you like to travel all the time. Now I'm not saying that it's gonna be impossible to travel if you're running a small scale farm, but it's gonna be much, much more difficult. You may have to potentially hire a farm hand because there's a lot of chores that you have day to day on a farm, especially with livestock, even with intensive vegetable production, there's things that have to be done every day, um, regardless if it's a weekend or regardless if you wanna go travel for three days. That would be something that I would really, really think through and ask yourself before you start your own farm. Reason number five to not start a small scale farm is if you have no capital investment or you have no money to be able to start the farm. Don't believe the hype of the start your farm for free videos and stuff that you see out there on social media. It costs money to start a business, y'all. Like just simply opening up an LLC, um, you know, buying seed, uh, you know, buying chickens, like things cost money and it drives me nuts to hear people say, and, and make these videos about how you can start farming for free with no money. It's, it's a crock of crap, it's baloney. Don't believe the lie. Reason number six, you should not start a small scale farm is if you don't have any off farm income, whether that's coming from you or your spouse, you're gonna need some other sources of income, especially in the first few years of starting your farm. Most businesses aren't profitable for the first three years. There's gonna be a lot of things that come up when you're starting this farm that you didn't foresee um, there's going to be unexpected expenses. There's going to be fluctuations in your income from the farm. And so you don't want to be real dependent on that income initially. And so I think it's really smart to have some other income source. I would highly recommend you reading the book Profit First and the Toilet Paper Entrepreneur by Mike Michalowicz. I think I'm mispronouncing his name, but I'll put links down in the description to those books for you to check out. Reason number seven, or I guess I should say the number one reason you should not start a small scale farm is if you have no market demand. I don't care if you have a ton of money to start this business, if you have passion, um, if you have everything that you need to be successful farming, if you don't have market demand for what you're wanting to grow or produce or raise, then it just, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a complete waste of time. Here's a video you can watch on how much does it cost to start a market garden. 